the special town meeting. To start off the special town meeting, Article 3 was motioned to come first from Dave Goldman since the article was the vote for the land purchase and the other two articles were contingent upon the purchase being voted through. John Mosier summarized the selectmen's support to purchase the land. The parcel we're discussing has unique and compelling attributes. Most noteworthy, the property abuts the Upton State Forest and across Pond Street is state-owned land leading to Lake Whitehall. <clears throat> the location offers tremendous opportunities for connection and access for the community and the region. It is also consistent with our recently adopted Hopkinton vision statement. Director of Land Protection at the Sudbury Valley Trustees, Krista Collins, also backed the purchase. Space and Recreation Plan Goals. 203 Pond Street is shown as an area of conservation and recreation interest on the 2009 Action Plan map and ranked highest among properties evaluated for open space benefits in a 1997 study. Because of its size and proximity to existing conservation lands, 203 Pond Street sits between 1,357 acres of the Upton State Forest and 815 acres of the Whitehall State Park. Ken Wisemantle of the Planning Board stated this is the best subdivision he has seen since there are already 32 acres of open space regardless if the town purchases. This is the best open space subdivision development that I've seen on all my years on the Planning Board. It provides for connecting trails. It provides for open space. It provides for a relatively small cluster of houses. It preserves 73% of the space as open space. Our standard in our bylaw is only 50%. So basically the planning board found that this is a good subdivision, that the $2, or $2 million is a very high price for open space. Typically you see open space in the, in the approximately fifteen to $25,000 an acre. Chair of the Community Preservation Committee shadowed many of Wisemantle's points and revealed the CPC is not in support of the purchase. And just mentioned, and we thought that was a great deal for the town. We try and purchase open lands to the best use of the funds that were given, are given us. And we felt that the 32 acres really encompassed the spirit of the open space land and was a great value for the town. We got 32 acres of open space. We're not spending additional money. And there's additional property just south of that being donated by the Pines. So we're not just looking at that area. We're looking at the area below it, which would all become part of the open space. So we believe that it's a very good deal for the town not to vote for this. And because the CPC voted 6 to 2 against going forward and spending money on this. Dave Goldman of the Hopkinton Area Land Trust was in support, stating at least $400,000 would be raised for the property should the town purchase, and if the town does not, it limits connectivity to other land such as the Upton State Forest from 800 feet to 50 feet. If you look at what happens is that there's a provision for a buffer of 50 or 100 feet in here, and so the connection gets narrowed down so that the connection essentially is broken if the town does not obtain this entire property. Ron Clark of the Community Preservation Committee stated that the town has other needs than purchasing open space and 32 acres of land for free is better than 43 for $2 million. Number one, it's, it's really a great development plan. And as mentioned before, the choice before the town is having 32 acres of open space for free or paying two million dollars for 42 acres of open space. And I don't think any business would make that decision. I don't think any family would make that decision if they need those funds for other activities. And we have other critical needs in this town, including, as mentioned, a new school, a library, new DPW garage, and other uh, capital needs coming downstream. After debate ended, 152 voted for the purchase, 113 against, which failed the required two-thirds vote. The other two articles, which were essentially reliant on Article 3 passing, were immediately motioned and agreed for no vote.